Welcome back, fire signs. Gem <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Excuse me, I just finished with air signs. Um, welcome back, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is your new moon in Pisces energy reading for this week. Let's see what the new moon energy has in store for all you fire signs. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Ooh, thank you for stopping by my channel again. What's at the bottom of that? The Seven of Pentacles. So just cutting the deck in half really quick before we even get into this reading. This has shown up in the earth sign readings and the air sign readings, and now it just wanted to make its way to yours as well. So I feel like everybody is deeply reflecting on things that they've really deeply invested in, but they're not getting this their return on it. They're getting very little out of it or maybe even nothing at all in this stagnant activity. So what I feel like everybody has a as a general whole is in is like I said just in this energy of like really looking at things that they've invested in that just aren't serving them so definitely let's get right on into this what's at the bottom of this the eight of swords there's every they're just stuck 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 so seven so the seven feeling stuck not getting your rewards and eight what which way do I go uh Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy earth sign energy here air sign energy here um Gemini Libra Aquarius starting with that so interesting yeah let's get right on into it okay fire signs starting off with a bang what's up with y'all leo energy here the sun card there's a positive ending here and i think with this this is you manifesting with this new moon i think some of some of you really um wrote down your intentions and really want to just have this positive new beginning this positive new start and cutting out anything that does not serve you anymore anything that's causing you this undue stress whatever it is that's got you feeling stuck i feel like look at her arms out she's on the grass she looks like shoes off she, shoes off in the grass this person is totally free so whatever it is that's got you tied up bound stuck in your head all about you are freeing yourself from that with this energy and this is all you fire sign energy here with this sun card major arcana seven of cups another seven here already seven is the number of perfection for me and with the seven of cups i feel like maybe there was a situation where there was a lot of manipulation or maybe even a situation where somebody felt like they had other options to choose from over you and with this this may be a situation where it's a, a job situation maybe you're current employer overlook you feel like overlooked by your employer like maybe they took they decided to give other people opportunities over me and I was standing right here and what was that all about um water sign energy here Pisces Cancer Scorpio maybe you're very emotional about this but definitely somebody had a lot of options and maybe even a little bit of manipulation there at play with that snake there in the background but somebody had a choice a little bit of manipulation but definitely it has you very deep in your emotions here with this seven of cups energy interesting Queen of Cups. She also showed up in the air sign readings. This is all about, this is um, water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is all about using your intuition, coming into that higher self and mastering that, recognizing the red flags. Like This is always my recognizing the red flags card, putting your hands up and saying, hey, I got to address this situation. And this is only allowing things in that are going to serve you. This is only allowing positive energy in and releasing things that are toxic. This with this queen of cups energy also this is a queen who is also looking for love and ready to receive it but she's not um anxious to jump at the first offer so this is a queen whose cup is extended but it's still close to her she's not re she's not necessarily wearing her heart on her sleeve this go round and this to me is a brand new solid and stable offer coming in whether you've received this or not this is something brand new coming in this was also in the air sign read um but this to me is the hangman so if we flip this upside down this is the hangman to me if we were looking at the major arcana and this is let of go, letting go of things that are no longer serving you and maybe things that are um not stable or the instability in your situation so with this um page of pentacle situation something solid and stable is going to come in and give you some balance look at the um position that she's in you have to have quiet you have to have a lot of balance on this so while this is a new opportunity and maybe even something that's a little immature something that you have to work on to give you that um, two feet on the ground of that solid standing this whatever this opportunity is it's definitely if it's not a money-making opportunity whatever it is it's solid and stable and you can bank on it it's a good investment here with this page of Pentacles the five of cups 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is some type of conflict emotionally. So whether you're tied into some type of job or tied into some type of relationship, this is some type of emotion, emotional turmoil over a situation. If this was a third party situation, this is it spilling over, spilling out and things being revealed and maybe even somebody having to walk away or take a break in love with this vibe of cups energy. Interesting. The devil, Capricorn energy here. This is releasing toxic energy, toxic ways. This is being stuck in your head. This is that um, eight of swords that we saw. This is that, this is that on a whole nother level. Those toxic things, that being stuck, bound or, or set in those bad habits, these things, or that maybe even that self-sabotage, if this is a work-related thing for you, if this is relating to work, um, this doesn't have to be love. Um, but if, this, if that is this in work, or school or love these toxic relationships or toxic ways whatever these things that are holding you back could be addiction um, could be um, gambling but whatever this is you're going I feel like you're releasing this this is not something that is holding you back as much as this is what you are hoping to release under this new and you can release it you just have to put in the work just close the door on it write it down burn it tonight don't let it go but this with this devil card energy Capricorn energy maybe you were dealing with a Capricorn let me know in the comments. But with this, you're releasing to some type of toxic energy here with this new moon. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is all about using, again, using your intuition. So we have the king and the queen here. So this is making balanced decisions here. Maybe in the past you've been very emotional in your decisions and making very um, quick, brash decisions, and maybe you've been burned in the past. This is taking the time out, really weighing your options, letting things chill, going with the flow for a little bit to see where and how you want to make those offers. This is um, really, so this is not just recognizing the red flags and coming into that positive energy only, but this is mastering that. This is fully coming into that in this season, whatever this is for you, whatever this new period is, you're going to come into this where you're going to, um, if you're saying, I, I want to stop going off on people or um, being um, too hot-headed, this is you mastering that right now. You're going to come into the Zen moment and people are going to continue to uh, provoke you at times, but you're not going to fall for that. With this, he's very zen, very calm and cool. He's just go with the flow. He's not going to let anybody get up under his skin here with this King of Cups energy here underneath this Queen of Cups. That is absolutely standing in your power here emotionally. Page of Wands in reverse. This is your energy here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is all about maybe releasing that fire, that anger. Maybe that's what uh, this coming into this king and queen, um, this king and queen of cup situation here, and that new solid stable opportunity. I feel like maybe that's you becoming Zen. Maybe that's this pose here because we have two pages right underneath each other. This person is a brand new, Zen out. Maybe doing new yoga. Maybe this is. Um, practicing ways to keep yourself calm in situation. Maybe you've been under a lot of stress lately and you're releasing a lot of that stress and trying to figure out ways to keep yourself calm when these people come around you and provoke you because maybe you can't get rid of everybody in your life that causes you a great deal of stress. Um, but with this page of wands in reverse, this is letting go of maybe that fiery jumping into things or jumping in head first or being hot headed, maybe that energy, releasing that um, for a more solid and stable way of being maybe. Seven of Wands, your energy. Yeah, you're going to absolutely not allow people to set you off here. You're manifesting. You're going to stay cool, calm, collected, and grounded here with the Seven of Wands energy. This is all about, for me, just taking a time out. This is you guarding your energy here. This is absolutely guarding your energy here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Interesting. Being defensive over what energies you allow to interact with you absolutely positively because I feel like whatever the situation is that had you very emotional I feel like maybe it was the, that manipulation I was talking about somebody was provoking you here and I feel like with this energy oh yeah you're moving on from that you're totally moving on with this chariot card major arcana here um cancer energy but this you're blocking your energy whatever something was really messing with you energetically, messing with your head, messing with your emotions and causing you maybe to go off. Maybe it even caused you to embarrass yourself um, once or twice, even with your emotions and having to go off on people or act out of character with this. But you're not allowing any more of that energy. With this new moon, I think you're just shedding anything that is, I've been saying that, that no longer serves you. But just this negative energy, I feel like you're releasing all of that. You're just coming into this, no, I'm only going to allow certain people in. And if I don't know you, know you, like no new friend season is what I'm getting with this. 
And then with this chariot card energy, major arcana cancer energy, you are totally moving past whatever the situation is that was um, had this had you in this manipulation, had you all emotional, had maybe you going off on people, and had you in this moment where you had to be completely zen and balanced, more water sign energy. This is you completely moving on from things that had you in that heated, having to be guarded and defensive energy here. You are absolutely moving on. I feel like just into your higher self, that queen and king of cups, you're definitely moving into that. The star card in reverse. This is Aquarius energy. This is all about wishing upon a star. And I feel like you're just caught in your head, caught up in your head here. This was also in reverse for um, the air signs as well. But this is all about wishing upon a star and getting that wish. So with this being in reverse, this, I feel like this is you not wanting to... Um, my friend Mindy just texted me, and I was just going to text her before I started this read. Uh, we're connected. I'm going to have to go and have a drink with her. Um, but definitely, this is you coming into your energy, coming into you. This is you being, excuse me, this is you coming into your head. Damn, Mindy. This is you coming into your head, being in your head about something and feeling like maybe you can't wish upon a star and get those things and have that balance. Like maybe it's very hard for you to cut these things out, but you can do this. I feel this has been coming up upside down for everybody, but I, this is you being stuck in your head. How are you not able to wish? How are do you how how are you, this is a lack of confidence for you fire signs? Fire signs, you guys do all this, um, and I love a fire sign. I'm, I'm always dating Leos that don't want to talk to me. So here's the deal with this: Leos, Aries, Sagittarius. Sometimes you guys get very caught up in a lack of self confidence and things, and you don't you don't show that to people, but but it, it's just a thing. This is you being stuck in your head about what it is that you really, really want and, and really putting in the effort to do those things. And with that, because maybe you're, you, you're worried about being provoked or um, failing and that being and getting all caught up in those emotions. But with this energy, you can turn this around. Major Arcana, you're being divinely guided to really take a look at these goals or whatever these aspirations are that you're stuck in your head and being too afraid to really ask for with this star card in reverse energy. Because it's not that you can't have it, you're not asking for it just yet. I feel like you have a fear of asking for it. And with this Three of Cups in reverse, this should be eating, drinking, and being merry, reuniting, rejoicing. But with that energy of that upside down being stuck in your head, something's not coming together here with this Three of Cups in reverse. But it can. It very easily can. It's a mindset thing. This, to me, is going on in the subconscious. Um, uh, water sign energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is emotions. This is your emotions taking over here in this um, star card energy. But you have, and I feel like that's because you're being very defensive over your energy, so you're afraid to make certain decisions. Let that go. Let that defensiveness go while you're still um, guarding your energy and make, and you can have every, whatever it is that you want. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So we already saw this. So this we were destined to see this. You're definitely stuck in your head about something. You're closing out a cycle here because eights are getting to the end of something and restoring that balance. Something that definitely has you in your head, whether it's a lack of knowledge about something, whether it's a lack of communication with somebody that's really important to you or that you feel like you really need to have a conversation with. But whatever this is, this eight underneath the seven, the eight of swords underneath the seven of wands. Whatever this is that's got you stuck in your head, you're releasing that right now with this new moon energy. That is being released, whether you are releasing it by choice or it's being divinely guided. Oh, it's definitely being divinely guided here with this full card energy. Whatever's got you stuck in your head, it is being released for you. You're stuck in your head about it. You're either going to make a decision or something's going to be made for you. You're, I feel like you're just going to jump off the cliff. You're just going to just fall back and just say, what, you're going to let whatever happen, happen. Here, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you're just going to fall and let the chips fall where they may. And you're not, you're going to just be confident. This is this card where you're just going to let go of those insecurities, just completely let go of that and just fall right in. Bam. Aries energy in the building. This is you guys, fire sign energy here with the emperor card. This is you standing in your embry, energy. This is you being a king. This is you, see the chess piece? This is you totally coming into your energy. This is you totally being in your power. This is somebody who is in control. This is a husband. This is a married person. This is somebody solid and stable in a relationship. This is a boss. This is somebody who is all that confidence, that lacking of confidence that I was talking about. None of that. You shed all that here with this emperor energy. You are coming into that. So that queen of that queen of cups, that king of cups energy, mastering those emotions, this is that. So you know how to be fiery when you need to be fiery and passionate and know how to say in smooth talk and get everything that you want. But you also are very much in control of your emotions in all situations, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm -mm -mm, major arcana, your energy here in the building. 
And I feel like you're just cutting communication and ties with those things that are no longer serving here, here, you here with this Five of Swords energy. This is some type of verbal falling out with someone or something. So definitely if this is a work issue, maybe a boss or a job, maybe you just had to cut something loose, maybe they cut you loose and that's what's got you in this period of going back and forth. Maybe you've lost a job, maybe they overlooked you in a job and now that's got you um, looking for something else. Or if this is a love situation, this is you not no, having some type of verbal falling out and then no longer communicating with them. And this, I feel like you're just releasing them. You're just not going to entertain the situation. At some point, if you haven't already or in the very near future, you're just going to cut whatever it is that's making you crazy, guard your energy, and then walk and, and just move away from that and move into this wish fulfillment. You're going to guard your energy and move away and move into this wish fulfillment here. You're stuck in your head about whether or not you can have this. You absolutely can have this. If this is showing up here, you can have it. You know what this thing is for you. To let me know what that thing is for you in the comments, whatever that wish is, whatever that thing is that you're afraid to really ask for. But definitely, you're moving into that energy of asking for it is what that you want and stepping out of this insecurities. You're completely like being reborn with this new moon. Water sign energy with this Pisces new moon. You're being reborn with this new moon and releasing those insecurities walking into yourself this is major arcana the emperor the king of all kings aries energy here you're standing in this you're sitting on your throne well-rounded totally in control here with this emperor card like i said this this communication this thing that's got you in your head all of this whatever you had to block out you're releasing this as well you're just not entertaining any of that energy because you only want things that are solid and stable wow solid and stable coming into you and you're only going to plant seeds that are going to grow and be fruitful for you. And we're going to roll this out with, bam. We already saw this card. The Seven of Pentacles. You only want to plant seeds that are going to be fruitful for you. And this is you planting seeds somewhere else, somewhere new. Ace of Pentacles, somewhere new. Planting those seeds somewhere new and reaping those rewards. Maybe even seeing those things, those rewards early on here with this being up right here and already have putting down some certain things, some certain energies. Maybe you already have what you need to be successful in a situation. Maybe you're starting a new business, working in a new career field, working in a new um, company in the same field, making more money, but definitely seeing the, um, reaping the benefits of your rewards of planting those seeds and putting in the work here. Absolutely, positively. Thank you so much, Aries Leo Sagittarius, for stopping by my channel. Let me know if this resonated for you at all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other content that I dropped a few days ago. I'll continue to drop other content throughout the week. Um, I'll be checking in with you soon. Happy Sunday. Bye-bye.